second lesson. No, no. Pre lesson. Three, three, day two. And just so you know, this is the last uh, lesson before your test. So start getting after that unit three test review. Pronto. Um, once again, more formulas. Now these are called half angle formulas and they sure look fancy. But like I've been saying all along, this is an excuse to get you guys to practice your spinner more and more and be able to manipulate numbers so that the formulas work. So you got to tap into your creative side just a little bit and then show off your algebra skills. Okay. And a little bit of training. So um, you got this formula, you got this formula, you got these formulas that are all true. And then you got these four sample problems in your packet. Now, I'm just going to get these kick started. I'm not solving them. I'm just going to help you understand what it is you need to do. Now, I want you to notice this right here. These are called, if you look at your packet, they're called the half angle formulas because this is taking an angle and cutting it in half, taking an angle, cutting it in half, et cetera, et cetera. So what do you have to do? Well, in order to use this formula, it has to look like this. So your brain has to go, okay, I want to manipulate this to where I have sine of something over 2. So the ironic thing is, it's called the half angle formula, but you end up doubling that number so that you can make it work. And now you have just said, I want to let u equal 150 degrees, and then you're just going to put it into this formula, 150. How about this guy? Well, again, to use this formula, it has to look like this. So I'm going to have to go tangent of 30 over 2. And now you said, hey, I want to let u equal 30, and I'm going to plug it in here and here. But you also have a choice of plugging, plugging it in here and here. I'll give you a hint. This one is a lot easier. I would discourage you from using that. This will just take you longer, and the algebra gets a little bit more difficult. So I think you can see the pattern. You're just going to double this. 380 would be 390 over 2. And now this is my U. And I would plug it into the cosine of u over 2, so I'd put 390 right here, and then simplify this. And what happens here? Well, this just challenges you in your whole radians idea. So what we've been doing is just, you know, putting 180 in for pi. I don't have pi over 12 memorized, perhaps. So, And then I look at this, and I say, okay, well, that's, uh-oh, I'm, I'm on the spot now. Uh, that'd be 1, 6, 15. So that'd be 15. So again, this is the same thing as cosine of 75 degrees. Boy, I hope I got that right. And that equals, and then I'm going to have to manipulate this to be in cosine of 150 over 2. And that's my U. And that's what I can plug in here. And then simplify this, and then you'd be done. That's how you get these things started.